So I've been out walking around and I, I decided I was gonna film this like little intro to my vlog, which is what this is gonna be. And then I was filming it and none of it came out. So I'm doing it again. But anyways, I've been sort of missing in action this last couple of weeks because it's been totally insane between my work schedule because I, I as many of you know, I work a full-time job. And on top of that, I've had some family commitments and things that I had to deal with family stuff and dentist visits, oh my gosh. Anyways, um, so I've been sort of missing in action, but I wanted to catch everyone up. So I'm gonna enclose some clips of a couple of things that we did. One was we went up north. We went up north, it was for a really sad occasion, but we went up north and we stopped at this beautiful park that I love to be at and Jay tried to fry, fly his drone. And he's a novice, right? I mean, he is not at all up to, you know, up to par with his drone. He's still learning and it's it's quite a learning curve, I think. So he flew that. I got a couple of video clips of the two of us there walking around and he flew it and it was really fun. And then we, um, we've been like looking for e-bikes. I think I mentioned that. So Jay and I have always been avid bikers. When I was in good shape and he was in good shape, we would go out for bike rides and pedal bikes. And we both have Cannondale mountain bikes, hybrids, so that they're combo street and trail. And mine was a really big bike. It's a, it's a um, unisex bike, so it was high, a high bar. It'd be good for a boy or a girl. And Last time I tried to get on my bike, I think I had talked about it, I fell off. And I, I fell off and I, I scraped the heck out of my legs. I mean, I was bleeding everywhere. And that was the last time I got on the bike. So we decided we were gonna sell the bike because I tried a couple of times. I, It's too big for me, it's too high. I have to lift my leg way up over a high bike. I can't do it. So uh, we decided we were gonna try to, to explore uh, something which, a lower entry. So we explored e-bikes and that's what we've been doing. So uh, I've learned an awful lot about e-bikes these last couple of weeks, I'll tell you, actually a month. Throttle, throttle assist, different classifications. So I wanted a bike that I could pedal and then have a throttle assist if I wanted to, if I wanted to get a little boost to go up a hill or if I just get too tired. Because there were times that we would go from Hampton Beach to Portsmouth and that's like 30 miles one way. And we'd be like pooped by the time we got there and we had to pedal all the way back. And sometimes there were hills. So anyways, we both have, we both really want to lose weight. We want to get back into our physical activities. So that was one of the things that we decided we were going to do is get ourselves some new bikes. So I sold my bike, Jay's bike, his old bike is, is for sale, but I sold mine and uh, we have new bikes on order. His should be coming in soon. Mine, not so much so. <laughs> mine is, I don't know when, um, but I really want it. Uh, they're both Pedagos. His is an interceptor, mine is a boomerang and the clearance is like nine inches off the ground for mine. It'd be perfect for me. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that physical activity because, you know, we've gained so much weight from COVID and I can't say from COVID, but during that whole time frame, you know, no, got the gym membership and all that stuff. So just trying to get back motivation has been difficult. So um, that's, that's what we're doing. We're, we're picking up biking again. We both ordered our bikes. Like I said, Jay's is coming in soon. I don't know when mine is gonna get here. I hope it comes soon. But, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna share a little bit about our, our trip up north and then we went to the beach. And we camped at the beach and it was a beautiful. And I got up one morning and I did a, I saw the sunrise come up and I filmed that. It was a very special morning because I found out about one of our special subscribers that I have felt so close to that passed away so I kind of dedicated that part of it to her but what a what a beautiful beautiful sunrise it was and it just made me appreciate life all the more so I'm going to close that I, I got some amazing jewelry I'm not going to even show that because I'll do that in another video but you guys know I love jewelry right so I got some amazing jewelry in and I ended up buying have you heard of rip skirts <laughs> pretty bad rip skirts r.i.p 
anyways i bought a rip skirt the number two size meaning it's it's not like a mini skirt like goes above your you know goes down to almost uh, like maybe a couple inches above your knee i guess they come in three lengths so you have one that just covers your butt you know if you're going to wear a bathing suit one that goes longer than one that goes to you know mid below your knee so i got the second length which is right above your knee i wasn't too sure if i was going to like it i actually like it it's really cool so i'm gonna I'm not going to show that in this video. I'll show it in the next video. But So I've got a bunch of things coming up. But more importantly is, you know, we, we need to work on us. And that's so important that we work on us. We are celebrating our anniversary. We actually celebrated it at the beach. We went out with one of our other friends who also had an anniversary. And we had a beautiful dinner overlooking the ocean. It was just beautiful. I'll insert some of that. But... It's just really nice, but Jay and I have to work on us physically, getting back in shape, staying healthy. My Apple Watch is a, I mean, it's a godsend. It tells me, you know, how many steps I've done. So I've really been focusing on trying to increase that activity again and get up and walk more and just be more physical. And because that's gone by the wayside, you know, it really has. So anyways, um, I feel like there's so much I want to talk about, but... Yeah, yeah, I don't want to bore you all to death. So I'm going to show you all those clips. We have a very important wedding coming up. I don't know when I'm in a wear. Nothing fits right. Nothing fits right. But we have a very, very important wedding coming up in less than, a, well, a little over a month. So lots of exciting. Jay's son, Justin, will be here and my daughter-in-law, Tamara. So super exciting stuff happening. But anyways, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, and please consider subscribing, thumbs up the video, leave me a comment. I know I fell behind on my comments on my previous video, mainly because I was just crazy out straight, but um, normally I'm not that bad. But anyways, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you guys in my next video where, oh, that Peter Thomas Roth stuff, remember the stuff I put on my eyes? I did it to my mother my mother freaked out she looked amazing on that one side of her face the difference was like incredible my mother's 94 right so she was like oh. so she's i need to need more of this and all this stuff well of course it sold out everywhere but i have i have mine so that stuff works the nuts i was really i was really shocked at how well that worked it's like omg grab it if you see it grab it. If, I'm going to get the one for the face for her because he's got the eye bag one and then he's got one for the face. I could use it too. I could use it too. Oh, wait till you see my jewelry. And my rip skirt. That, don't tell Jay, but that was pricey for a skirt. I couldn't believe I spent that. Then I bought bike, bike capris. You put them on, you feel like you're wearing a diaper, right? There's this big, thick thing between your crotch. It's supposed to make it so you don't get sore when you start riding a bike. So I'm just giving you a whole vibe blow of everything. Be sure to watch the video and leave me a comment. And I hope you enjoy a little bit of the last two weeks that I'm gonna share with you guys. I'll see you in my next video. And um, Chikora, we came up for a service and uh, we stopped at Chikora and Jay is actually over there. I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> He's flying his drone over on Mount Chikora. I'm going to turn around so you can see what I'm seeing. So, this is just a really cute little park. somewhere in the clouds. 
So, um, yeah, there's a few people here. I'm just, I'm doing like a little vlog. I'm like, there's a few people here enjoying the day. There's some people out on the water. And Jay, of course, is enjoying flying his drone. It's wicked hot. We're gonna go actually on our way home. We're gonna go and uh, check out some e-bikes. So he's gonna try to bring it back. I don't know if you can see it right up there, hovering. It's just hovering, huh? railings or carve on them. Hmm. Tons of carving on them. Carving on them even though you're not supposed to carve on them. But it's it's on the muggy side today. But it's actually a pretty nice day. At least for up here to be up here in the mountains and oh my gosh. I might have been on time lapse. So that was a pretty good landing honey. Yeah, not you, too bad, huh? You're getting better at it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he brought it down perfect. And there was a car coming, so I was being a nervous Nelly. But he did awesome. I can't wait to see the footage. Maybe maybe you'll be so kind to give it to me to insert in my vlog. Yeah, we'll see how it comes out. Huh? We'll see how it comes out. It'll be perfect. And up he went. And because he's a beginner, he had some little issues. Sometimes the drone would just sit there and he was trying to decide which way to move it. But it actually went over the road to the other side. And there's a little bridge over there. I, I'm sure it's not picking it up that well, but he he was just really filming and practicing. He has to practice a little bit more, but to be honest with you, I wouldn't be able to do what he did. And I know the more he practices, the better it's going to be. So we've actually been sort of buttoning up. I still have to put some some stuff away. We are expecting the, I don't know, we're not gonna get a direct hit, at least I don't believe we're gonna get a direct hit from the hurricane, but we are expecting some wind and rain. And then the rain is supposed, it's been drizzling all morning, so you can, you can imagine everything is wet. Um, my yard is, my backyard is totally overgrown. It looks like a forest. But it's sort of really eerily calm. You know, I, the winds have picked up a little bit, but it's sort of really eerie. And I don't know. I, I think the, the worst of it is going, is going to stay west of us a little bit. So I don't think we're going to get the worst of it for sure thankfully but we are going to get something so we've been trying to button up the yard put anything that can blow away away <laughs> oh my gosh apples on the ground sign of fall right sign of fall beautiful the water is warm I can't get over it it's like crazy so last night I had heard about the death of a, a wonderful, wonderful lady. I didn't know her well in life. We never met, but we... We talked in email, in comments. We met on YouTube. She's wonderful, supportive, beautiful. She always invited us down. She would say, oh, you and Jay have to come down. She lived in Alabama, near a golf course. And I found out that she passed away. Such a shock. And Every time Jay and I are at the beach, I say how I want to get up and catch the sunrise. And half the time, I'm too lazy to do it. 
But today, anyway, I could have rolled over in bed because I have to get ready, go to work. I could have rolled over in bed and slept another hour. But this is for you, Mary Ellen. This is for you, Mary Allen. I so wish you could see this. But the news I got about you last night made me realize how fleeting life is. And what a beautiful morning it was. Just me, a few seagulls, and a very, very beautiful sunrise. It wasn't overly dramatic, but it was so pretty. And I just love this time of morning at the beach when it really, there's hardly anyone down there. Every now and then you might see someone, but it's so worth it. I just have to force myself to get up out of bed and come down and see this beautiful, beautiful sight. It makes me realize how precious life is. Oh, that was pretty. God bless America. over there look at this is this not amazing behind me awesome that's Portsmouth light way over there the buoy marking the entrance to the harbor whale back and Miss Jude over there I'm gonna try to zoom in to whale back There's a sailboat coming in. <laughs> a special spot. So it was a wonderfully special weekend. Fireworks and a great dinner out celebrating our anniversary and our friend's anniversary. We went to the sea glass overlooking the ocean. I had the most incredible mussels. Oh my gosh, were they good. And then we ended up taking a day trip to Maine and we had lunch in this beautiful mill building overlooking the river. And guess who came? My little grandson, Augie. So that was our camping trip at South Beach in Hampton. Thanks for watching.